So to start off, we're going to talk about lace. I love lace. Lace is feminine, it's girly, it's romantic, it's timeless. So it's always a possibility that you'll see me with something lacy on or I'll incorporate it into my outfit some kind of way. I have a cardigan from Target. It's not Target Brands from their Go International line. I just like this because it's lace, black lace over a lighter color so it kind of shines through. You can put it over top of a black dress, you can wear it with like a black pair of slacks, you know, and then you can add color shoes to it or colored accessories. Now this right here is a piece that I got from a thrift store and it looks kind of crazy like 80s weird stuff but when I saw this I thought of all the possibilities like taking this button off maybe and putting a brooch right there. I just love the yellow color. I love that it's shapeless because I can wear it over top of something that's tight fitting but have this to cover up or it's just a quick throw on. This little piece is from The Limited. It has a bell sleeve to it and it ties. This is great over top of the dress when you're going out. When your arms get chilly, but you don't really want to have on something really heavy, you just throw this on top of your dress and you won't feel so uncomfortable with your arms showing. Now, another thing you should know about me is I love little like silk tops, little polyester tops. Just that would normally go, little blouses that would normally go under like a blazer or something. I love those kinds of tops. And I go to the store for those. They always have them. I mean, they range anywhere from like 95 cent on up. I've been lucky to score a bunch of them. Now this next piece that I'm going to show you, you're going to probably guess. I'm like, what the heck is she thinking? But to tell you the truth, I love this shirt. It has a lot of color colors in it. It's kind of funkadelic. But you can tame it easily with black. I wore this before with like a pair of really short black shorts and a belt around it. It's like a signature piece. You always have that one item that's like a signature piece in your outfit, meaning that is the piece. So I wouldn't really put a necklace or too much on with this. Not a lot of bracelets. It's very simple to, um, to dress that up. And I guess I have more of those little tops, it's like a red one with a v-neck. This is. A store that I used to love so much, Contempo Casuals, it's now gone. And as you can see, I have my lovely, fancy cleaners hangers. I'm not one of those girls. I'm not a super, all my hangers have to go the right way and all of them have to match and be fancy. I mean, put it in the closet, hang it up, it's there. I'm just not that, that girl. And I love, I absolutely love this one. Now the cool thing about this shirt, this looks like the front of the shirt, but actually it's the back of the shirt. So this is the front of the shirt. So when you turn around in the back, this is actually exposed. But you could easily turn it around and wear it like that. Just look cute with a nice little necklace. Another thrift store find. I mean, so, so inexpensive. I have this shirt that I've worn so much. I think it has like stains on it or something and it's thinning out. But I will never part with this. I scored this for, I want to say a dollar at the thrift store. It is a, a vintage Diane von Furstenberg. And I love it. I wear it with everything. It's very complimenting. The only thing is it's kind of see-through. So if you wear a bra, you have to usually put on something under it. Find the right bra. Probably a nude one would do well. It's just one of those classic pieces that you really don't need much to do with it. Of course, you gotta have some daring pieces. This Batwing shirt from Express. It is animal print, which I love. This shirt is so old, I don't even know the date on it. If I could find it, I'd tell you how old this shirt is. It's been in the pile to give away for so many years, but I'm just like, just keep it. I mean, it's not bothering you, so just keep it. It looks kind of small, but when you put it on, it's cool. It has an exposed zipper here. I love an exposed zipper. I'm a sucker for one. Have this shirt right here. Got this from Target, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has like this cool neckline on it. I don't know if you can get a shot of that, but it's pretty cool. So when you wear it, it goes around your neck, and it's kind of tall and makes you look important. Of course, you can dress it up with a exaggerated necklace, just make it pop. It's so cool and. Um, 
tags still on it. I haven't worn it. I do that a lot, but let's see. Clearance, $5.74. Target on sale. Um, what else do I have in here? Just more tops that are like wild and crazy out of this world. Stuff that I see on someone else and say, oh, I wish I had it, but hey, it's mine. Or stuff that you see on other people and you're like, the heck is she wearing? That's me. My friends do that to me sometimes. They're like, what do you have on? But they're to the point where they understand that I'll just wear anything. I like this top, it's crochet. And uh, this is made by INC. Another thrift store find. You'll find that a lot of the clothes in my closet are from the thrift store. I just, I don't know if retail is necessary anymore for me. I always find something wonderful at the thrift store. So it's great to go and find pieces like this. And I have to spend a lot. If you notice, so far I've pulled out like different hangers for each outfit that I've <laughs> shown you. I mean, each top that I've shown you because I don't really care. This is a cute little tank top from Kmart. It's a tension. It, it's very elegant looking and I love the color. Nice deep purple plumish color. T-shirts and everything. I even have a shirt from Jessica Simpson's old Princey line. This is a green top and it ties. I like the little detail on the side of it. It's cool. Um, I've never worn this, the tag's not on, but the little plastic piece from it is. And I'm just, I don't know. I just like it. It's green and it's kind of weird. It has a little flap on the side. Sometimes I don't have a reason for why I buy things. I just have to have it. I have this dress from, you guessed it, the thrift store. And the thing about this dress, it's a wrap dress, which is always very flattering. It has this sequin detail right here. And as you know, when you buy stuff from the thrift store, store or consignment shop, thrift store more so than consignment, there are often flaws in them. And this flaw happens to be like some of the sequins are falling off, but that's nothing. Like one just fell off right now. But I'm going to eventually just rip all of those off and replace it with something else. Or maybe redesign this and just put a brooch right there. It's so easy to revamp your wardrobe and style it all over again. I just don't know why some people have to go to the store and find a piece of clothing that's as it is. Unless it's an emergency, then I understand you have to have it right then and there. But I like to find pieces and make them my own. Oh my gosh. When I show you this next dress, you're probably going to stop watching this video and be like, this girl needs to check herself into a mental institution. Okay. So get ready to see what Pepto-Bismol would look like if it was a dress. Voila! This is my absolute favorite dress. It is a hot mess. It's like... I don't know, it's floral and it has piping all in it to keep your breast up. It has a low waist. It's doing a lot here. It's like Miami Beach meets, I don't know, a Spanish party meets Mardi Gras. It's all over the place. But I love it. It's my absolute favorite. It has like a corset feel to it. So you can't really eat much before or during or after. It's one of those signature pieces. These straps are just to hold it onto the hanger. But it, it is strapless. It's gorgeous. It zips in the back. Thrift store fine. Really cheap. And crazy to you, but beautiful to me. If I saw someone wearing this dress, I'd be like, oh my gosh. I'd stop and say, where'd you get that dress? And they'd be like, oh, I got this from the thrift store. And I'd be like, oh, darn, I can't find any more. You have to let me borrow that. But instead, it's mine. It's in my closet. Uh, I have I have normal clothing, too. Like this dress right here, my um, 
sister-in-law bought it for me. It's very cool. It's just drop waist. It's from Lord and Taylor. And I saw this on the Insider. One of the news reporters was wearing this. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is my dress. It's made by Max and Cleo. I like it. I tried it on. It's so flattering. Then there are pieces like this. This is more of a top. And it's black and it has the gold detail. I wear this a lot. I haven't worn it in a long time, but I used to wear it a lot because it's one of my favorite pieces. It's from Forever 21 and the gold detail around it just speaks for itself. The back is plain, but then the front, that's where the party is. So, nice. I have this dress from New York and Company, but actually this is a, um, it looks like a nightgown. It's so silky and can't explain it. It's like, oh gosh. It's like a little silky number. Very, very risque. You know? I got this for like $4.99. The retail price is $58.95 for this dress. So, deal. Then I have cute little pieces like this, Forever 21. Actually, this isn't even my dress. This is my cousin's. I have family members who love shopping too. So they'll get items and like, I don't want that. Or you can borrow it or whatever. And we do that a lot. This is my cousin's dress. It's so cute. It has like the bubble effect at the bottom. It has a big bow right here. Bows are one of my favorite little quirky things I like. So this is cute too. Firm 21. Can't go wrong. And then I just have odds and ends here and there like dresses from Kmart. I know this looks kind of pukey to you but this is a Kmart dress. Love that. And then everything else is just normal until you get to the dresses. Okay. So this dress is going to need a lot of explaining. Let me, get, let me show you it up close. Look at that. It has like this lacy detail. It really looks like um, like Little House on the Prairie. That's what it looks like. But here's my reasoning. Like I said before, when I see an item, I don't necessarily take it for face value. I have to dig deeper into it. When I first saw this dress, I was like, okay, cool. This would make a cool top. I'll just cut it you know, right here, then I realized it would be too short. So the other day I tried this dress on and I noticed that it was actually cute. So I'm going to think about cutting it like lower down here and wearing it as a cute little top. I know it's pink and it looks girly like I should be in a schoolyard somewhere chasing a little boy, but it, it really is cute. Like I said in the beginning, I love lace. So this lace is very, very interesting to me. And then it has the zipper in the back. First store, I don't even think it has a name. Someone might have made this. Let's see. Somebody didn't make it, but it's 11-12. Like, this is not an 11-12. Let me tell you, this is tiny. Vintage clothes are so tiny. You say they're like 14 when you try it on. It's like a two and you can't get in it. They're all depressed. Okay, I have a classic, like, just the Isaac Mizrahi. This is from Target. And um, I just think jean dresses are essential. I see this with like some riding boots, some brown riding boots or something, and a nice big huge scarf, chunky. In the winter time, just looking very classic and clean. Maybe roll the sleeves back a little. Just simple pieces like that. And another piece that I really like is this vest right here. It's a tapestry blazer, I mean tapestry vest, excuse me, from Express, like old Express back in the day when the sign was even different and before they did all that fancy logo stuff. This is the, uh, like the Express from back in the day, that Express. And this is one of the vests that I wear a lot. I'll throw this over top of some of the weirdest things that don't even belong, but I like it. Of course I like it. It's in my closet. I mean, I don't have to keep telling you that. We have things like jackets, 
think everyone should have a jean jacket. This is a Levi's jacket. I just rolled the sleeves up. But then here's another piece. It's almost on the same scale as the Pepto Bismol dress I showed you. Well, this is a jacket that my mom absolutely hates. It is like a candy stripe seersucker blazer. It is so fabulous to me. I can't understand why she hates it so much. It's vintage Diane von Furstenberg. Got this at the thrift store. I saw it on the rack and I was like, I have to have that. Do you know how classic that dress would be? And as a matter of fact, like I'm looking at this now and you know, it goes with my whole American flavor. This would be so cute over top of the dress that I have. I mean, look at this. Look how cute that is. It'd be like red, white, and blue meets confused. <laughs> I love this blazer. It just does so much for me. I can see it with some really short jean shorts, a nice little white tee, and then a necklace and some flats. It's very cute, classic, and mine. I love that. My mom is like, when she first saw this blazer, she was like, oh my gosh, why do you have that? We have very different styles. I just love anything that's wrong. And I can't even get this off because I have on this huge bracelet, which by the way, bracelet's not my thing. Look at this bracelet. It is so freaking cute. Look at it. It's yellow, it's big, it's huge. I love it. But anyway, that's my Diane Von Furstenberg jacket, and you'll, you'll find, what you'll find about me is that I'm not really a label whore, as some people call them. I'm, I'm more of a, just an opportunist. If I find a piece that I love, great. I'll keep it, love it, cherish it. But when I open it up and see that it, it is made by a well-known designer, I just like it even more. So for me, it doesn't have to be made by anyone famous. I just happen to find pieces I like and then I look at the tag and I'm like, oh, wow. That's why I like it so much. But um, that's it for now. Um, I'll probably share more items with you. Like I said, this is not even half of my clothing. This is just some of the stuff I decided to hang up because I get overwhelmed sometimes with clothing and I know people are going to be like, stop buying it, throw it away. I don't really shop a lot. I just have items that I forget about or I revamp or they come back into my life or I can fit them at the moment because my weight goes up and it goes down. So just never know why I have a piece in my closet or where it came from. So I'm hoping that um, I can share more items with you and we'll see where this goes. And I'm excited to see where Hello, Goodbye can go. I think it's going to be a fun show, and I'm happy to share with you. So I am signing off. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, and come back.